Hey folks, Daniel Rashid here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about the market in general. Um, I've kind of been noticing it cooling off a bit. Now, I don't know from your guys' experience in your areas, you might be hearing a lot of talk of multiple offers and things heating up and getting really aggressive. But generally the natural cycle of things uh, come this time of year, come June, this is the month that we're in uh, currently, and things do cool, cool off and historically. And I'm starting to see that in my local market. Now, I'd love to hear from you folks uh, from wherever you are to see where, where your market's at. But I know personally, that's how I'm feeling lately. Um, and there's a lot of articles that are kind of pushing it, pushing it to be like a hot market and a lot of agents talking uh, about multiple offers always, you know, on the table, which is uh, something that's interesting to me. I mean, if you were to price something low enough, you're going to get multiple offers on it. Uh, there's ways to not saying that there's anything funny going on. But I mean, in terms of multi offers, if something's well priced, and low enough, people will bid on it, you know, aggressively too, to to sort of stabilize like where that that property should be on the market. Um, other than that, it's not so much not seeing the the multiple offer bids, but seeing more days on market for a lot of these listings. If you ever find yourself in a multi-offer bid, it's a very uncomfortable situation uh, to be in as a buyer. I'd, I'd suggest staying away from it, but if you need to commit to a deal that's, that's sort of in that multiple offer uh, scenario, just just pay what you feel uh, is necessary for the property. The agent, like myself, or or some other agents that you're dealing with, they may discuss uh, you know going above and beyond sort of asking price for a property, and you don't really want to get into that and, and paying too much for something uh, when if you're patient enough, you'll find something for a decent value that you paid right on market for. Um, you don't want to wait too long, but be careful for those bids that are going st through the roof or going above 5 10% of asking price, which which can be really detrimental in the end if if what I'm feeling right now in terms of the market cooling off actually happens you're stuck with a home that you pay too much with, uh, too much for. And you don't want to be in that situation, especially when you're not at your first buy. And if your investment property makes no sense, don't buy it. Especially if the cap rate makes no sense. Don't care if the rents are there or what you can improve on. What you do your numbers on is where that property is in the current market and what where that property is listed and what it's renting for now. Especially increasing rents, just get that out of your head. Uh, in terms of calculating and evaluating a property. It, it just makes no sense to dive in there. Um, and now more than ever, we've had housing, housing crisis across the, the globe. I know na nationally and provincially, you know, where we're at, we have a housing crisis still actively happening. And so it's foolish to think that you just go and buy a property, kick some of these poor people out, evict tenants, and it's just, it's just not smart for you to evaluate your numbers on that. And you don't wanna be known as that person to do that uh, or take that approach with the property. Uh, you, 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 know, you need some reputation and a tenant that's currently in your building deserves the respect that they deserve as being there and um, you know, buy the property that's producing the income necessary to support the purchase price. I know locally there's been some properties, especially multi-units that have been listed um, as if they were brand new and they're listed based off of the evaluation of a lot of the duplexes that are selling brand new. And if you've taken an old 60 year old fourplex, two, you know, duplex or triplex and you're pricing it based off of a new semi that's selling down the street, it makes no sense. And if there's a buyer buying that, it just makes no sense. The numbers are not there, especially when the, you know, the, the cap rates are almost one or 2%. It makes no sense. So be smart about how you invest, where you invest. If you have questions, you know, email me, DM me. I can uh, definitely or comment below, I guess, and I can definitely help you along in terms of assessing a property. If you have something that you're thinking about, I don't care where you're at, just send it my way. I'll definitely let you know my thoughts. Um, I may have to dive into your market or, you know, rely on you to give me some ideas of what's going on, but, you know, let me help you. Uh, I, well, I can provide an opinion at the very least. 
And again, it's Daniel Rashid. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.